Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. Hey, hey. Back again. All right. That was stupid. Sorry. Okay. What we're going to do today is we're going to find the area of a rhombus, or as I like to call it, a rhombus. R H O M B U S. Rhombus. Okay. You know, remember, rhombuses are quadrilaterals, four sides, and they usually end up looking like a diamond, okay? The key feature of a rhombus is that all four sides are equal, okay? Like a square, except for they didn't have the right angles in there, okay? Usually the way I like to remember it is a rectangle and a rhombus join forces, psh, make a square, okay? Because a rectangle is all right angles, a rhombus is four equal sides, and those are the two main qualities in a square, okay? So rhombus, looks like a diamond usually, four equal sides. We're going to learn how to find the area of one, okay? Okay, all these sides are equal. Now, diagonals, remember, they go from one angle to the other, okay? Obviously not this angle to this angle because that would be a side. Diagonals go across here, okay? Name one of them your diagonal, diagonal one, and then name one of them your diagonal two, okay? Doesn't matter which one, it's going to be about the same. The formula for area of a rhombus is one half times your diagonal one times your diagonal two. Okay, it's the same exact formula to find the area of a kite, which I do in another video. Okay, so we got the area, one half diagonal one times diagonal two. Let's do a problem, okay? I'm going to do one that's a little more difficult, that way I can hopefully help you, and if you can understand this, you can understand an easier one. Getting really close to the camera, that's because I'm trying to read the problem I was going to do. What was the one that I was gonna do? I don't remember. Just kidding, there it is. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, let's say that diagonal is 14, and this side length is 25, okay? Now, obviously if they just gave you two diagonals, you could just do one half, or 0.5 if you're scared of fractions. 0.5, times one of the diagonals, times the other one. Now, in this one, we don't have one of the diagonals. All we've got is a side, which we know all these sides are 25, because it's a rhombus, and then we know one of the diagonals is 14. Okay? Guess what? We're gonna make it, it's four right triangles now. Because whenever those diagonals cross, they make right angles. Boom, we can work with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna talk like that, sorry. Okay, so, if that's 14, we just cut that in half, didn't we? Therefore, that side is 7, okay? I'm going to focus on this triangle right here, okay? You can even, sometimes I like to draw it out on its own, but I'm running out of room, so I'm not going to do that. So this is 7. We need to find this other little guy. We'll call it X, because nobody can ever find X. When you do, you get a treasure. So treasure maps work. You learned two things today. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let's get excited. Okay, so we got 25, 7, and X. Those are our three side lengths of our right triangle. What'd you say? Yeah, it rhymes with Smythagorean Smearum. Pythagorean Theorem. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's do it over here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Now, what's the most important part out of those three, A, B, or C? C is. That's our hypotenuse. Remember, hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. So 25 goes in for C squared. We'll make 7 our A, and then we'll make X our B. Okay? Now, 7 squared is 49 plus x squared. I hope you can see this. I know it's small. Try to make your screen bigger. Um, and then 25 squared is 625. Okay? Now we subtract the 49 over there. So x squared equals 625 minus 49, which is 576. All right? And what do you do to get rid of something squared? Opposite of squared is, borrowed its name, first cousin, square root. So we square root both sides. That cancels out. X is by itself. Square root of 576 is 24. Very good. I'm so proud of you. Coming <laughs> so long, far away. Whatever. Okay, so that X is now 24. Now, that's great. Did we get the diagonal? No, we didn't. A lot of people get ahead of themselves like, oh, I found it. Cool. Plug it in. Let's go surfing, brah. Well, those people talk weird, okay? And I don't think they have talked like that since like 1997, so sorry. That's 25. Who cares? We just need the diagonals. 
Okay, one of our diagonals is 14. Area equals 1 half times 14. We had those from the beginning. What we just found out is that this line is 24. But we don't want just that. That's half of a diagonal. We need the whole thing. Guess what this side is? It's also 24. What's 24 plus 24? 48. 24 hours in a day, 24 hours in a day, two days, 48 hours. Probably a movie named 48 hours. It's a movie named everything. Okay? Oh my goodness, I can't do this in my head. Alright, so 1 half times uh, 14 would be 7. And then 7 times 48 would be, so it would be what, 346. I'm going to have to test that because I don't tell you the wrong answer. So 0.5 times 14, I knew that was 7, I don't know why I typed it in again. That's 48. 336, dang it, I forgot, I'm sorry. Okay, so 300 and, what did I say, 36? Area is 336, which I guess this is probably inches or feet. That's what they always use. Say so inches squared. And that's how you find the area of a rhombus. Okay? I don't even know what to say anymore. I feel like we've come so far. If you get a chance, please um, go to my regular website, tylertarver.com, or go to my math website at tarveracademy.com for full lessons, geometry, and beyond. Um, also, iPhone, iPad app, just search Tarver Academy. Get that mug. And then... Um, what else? If there's some more questions that I didn't, you know, some weird ones or something that you don't know how to do, I'll try to help you out if I can. Uh, just tweet it to me, at Tyler Tarver, T-A-R-V-E-R, -E Tyler Tarver, on Twitter, and take a picture and send it to me, and I'll try to help you. The end. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out TarverAcademy.com. Pizza?